what are some things you need to consider before opening a food truck business? And checklist to start a food truck business. So welcome to Marketing Food Online. In this video, I want you to give me 15 minutes of your time and I'm gonna give you the 30 steps. That's right, 30 steps covering everything you need to know. If you wanna open a food truck business, we're gonna get to those 30 right now. All right, so welcome back to Marketing Food Online, guys. If you are looking to create a food truck business, this video was probably the best video I have ever made about food truck businesses. Getting started, understanding what you would need to do, and literally being honest about every single step. This is no fluff, no nonsense. Give me 15 minutes and I'm gonna go through the 30 things to help you launch your food truck business successfully and start generating money. So let's dive right into it. I don't wanna waste any time. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification if you're brand new to our channel. Let's get to this list. Number one, check your experience in working with food right off the bat. If you are not used to the food industry at all, if you're brand new to the food truck industry or even just food in general and serving, you may love to cook at home. You may have some experience uh, cooking for friends or family, but make sure you check your experience. If you don't have the type of experience that you think you are secure enough to start a food truck, get some training if you need to. Work with a food truck to start with before you even launch one. There's nothing wrong with checklist, checking your own checklist of what you know and what you don't know. That is a good thing because if you dive into a food truck business not knowing certain things, then you could have been better off if you get a little bit more experience. There's nothing wrong with that. So number one, check your experience in the food truck or food industry. Number two, your food truck business name. So you need to check and verify that the name of the food truck you're trying to get is not already taken or is one that's already branded or trademarked. So number two is make sure that you run a check, a name check, a business name check in your state to find out specifically if that name is already taken. And of course, if it is, then you have to go to plan B and figure out a different name. There's a lot of food trucks who actually dive into creating a business. They need to have a food truck name check done for the business itself. So don't try to create anything beyond this point. And number two, the most crucial step is of course, finding out if the name you want to use is already taken. Number three, Register your business. So make sure you have a business license um, in the city and the county where you will be working. Now, the reason why I say city and county or county is dependent upon where you are going to incorporate and create that business. If you're within city limits, you may have to just check with your city. There's a certain county that you're living in. That may be the county you need to go into. So double check and make sure you've got the right business license, but in the right city or county that you're actually in. Number four, very, very important, crucial to all your financials moving forward is open a business bank account for the food truck business. Now, you need to, of course, check number two and number three prior to doing this. So number four is your business bank account. If you are just an, a sole proprietor, if you're just starting your own food truck business, don't incorporate your personal accounts with your business accounts for accounting purposes and tax purposes. That's going to be a little bit of a problem, okay? You want to separate your transactions for your business from anything related to your personal account. Number four, open that business account, guys. Number five, secure a POS system hardware. So number five is really, really crucial, important too, because a lot of food truck owners, when they first start, they just want to take cash. They want to take cash for whatever the purpose might be, but you really lose out on the opportunity, even though there are transaction fees, of course with a POS system, they are really, really beneficial in many ways. Some of these POS systems also can run information and even Excel spreadsheets showing you uh, that data on what's selling good on your truck, what's not selling good on your truck. These are great to have for inventory purposes. They even integrate perfectly with uh, in integration with inventory of what you have on your truck at a certain event. So when you go back to the same event, you can focus on what really sells and what doesn't. If you have a variety of food items that you're selling, many POS systems nowadays actually will keep track of that. That data, that information is really crucial for you to scale your food truck business. So secure a POS system hardware. So that would be the actual unit where someone inserts their debit or credit card into it. That's the POS system that you need to get. Number six, you need to get a POS merchant account. Now, to help you guys out, by the way, all of this information I have down here, if you're not familiar with the hardware, 
or even how to get a merchant account, I'll have links in the description down below to help you get all of this equipment, get all of these services to make it super simple for you, okay? So number six, apply for your POS merchant account. Damien, what does that mean? You just told me to get the hardware. Well, when you get the physical hardware, the unit where the card will be inserted, you also have to have a POS merchant account. That's gonna be the processor for the POS unit, okay? So as an example, you might be familiar with PayPal, okay? Anyone who transacts anything, there has to be a company that handles the transaction itself. The hardware will mean nothing if you don't have obviously a merchant account because it won't function. So you need to make sure you apply for what's known as a POS merchant account. Number seven, application for taxpayer's ID for your business. Make sure that your business has a taxpayer ID. Now, in a lot of cases, if I'm not mistaken, it's EIN, employer identification number. This is going to be uh, purchased, not purchased, actually, you get this directly on the IRS website. The EIN stands for employer identification number. It's kind of a social security number for your food truck business. That's gonna be the way that the IRS distinguishes your specific business, your food truck business, as a unique business unto itself. Number eight, food truck registration as a commercial vehicle. Now, keep in mind, this actually varies slightly. Every county and city is a little bit different. But as a food truck owner, you may have to actually register your vehicle as a commercial vehicle, believe it or not, not simply as a, not as a, a generalized uh, truck itself or a vehicle. So it may have a specialized uh, vehicle operated commercial registration. Okay, so be sure to double check with that. In most cases, that's going to be true every, everywhere you go, but there might be some variations out there. Number nine, obtaining a food handler certificate. Now, 99.99% of the time, you are going to be required and possibly even your employees or those working with you or for you will have to obtain a food handler cert certificate. Damien, what does that mean? Well, if you go to a restaurant, most of the time you'll look on the wall when you go to the restaurant, you're going to be graded by the health department, number one. Then you're going to see a certificate known as ServeSafe. It's the, it's the biggest one, I think, in the U.S. ServeSafe is a company that issues food handler certification. It's basically a course to help you understand how to handle, prepare, store, and keep food in order for it to be safe for people to consume. Okay, very simply, um, sanitation practices, um, keeping items refrigerated at what temperatures, keeping items frozen, um, handling food properly, cooking it to the right temperature, all of this gets covered in a food handler certificate program. Number 10, make sure you have the correct type of driver's license for your commercial vehicle. Now, this is something that is super unique only unto, of course, food truck industry. Believe it or not, um, Department of Motor Vehicles will actually issue a specific type of license for a food truck. Now, you need to keep this in mind too. Very, very important, super important, guys. If you have an employee who's driving your vehicle and they are just licensed non-commercial vehicle and they get into an accident or something happens, God forbid, but if, they does, if that does happen, that could be a huge potential problem for you as the food truck owner if you're not there, if you're not the one driving. So ensure that everybody who is driving the vehicle will have this type of license so you don't have any problems. Number 11. Now, each city and county that you operate, you may actually need to have a permit or business license in each one. Number 11 is ensure that you've got the right business license for the city and county you want to be in. Believe it or not, you may have to because if you drive over a city line or county line, you may have to do that. Number 12. Food truck insurance policy for your business. No brainer. Simply put, your business as a food truck needs to have a liability pro uh, uh, insurance policy in place and you need to make sure that you have at least the state minimum for that food truck business. Number 13, if you have an office, keep in mind you may have an office somewhere, you may have a, which is actually a great idea because you can write this off as a tax expense. Don't operate necessarily from home. If you can rent a small space and you can use that as additional uh, write-off for your business, you're gonna need furnishings, office equipment, and all that as well. So keep that in mind. You need to function as a legitimate office, so you may have to invest in office furniture for your food truck office. Number 14, market research. So check the area where you want to produce your food product out of your food truck. Be sure to try to, try to create something that's not in existence. If you have an opportunity, Go to different food truck events. Actually, see what's around in your community. Try to create something that's unique that no one else is doing or take it your own spin on something that's old. If you want to do hot dogs, don't just do hot dogs. Do something that's really unique, gourmet, high end, a lot of toppings. You know, create something that's unique. But market research will help you create a, a menu that's not like everyone else. Number 15, investment fundage. So funding, funding, funding. You need to figure out how you're going to buy your food truck business. Whether you're going to access credit cards, loans, even family or friends, 
There's nothing wrong with checking with other people if they want to, if they believe enough in your business, let them invest in it, but also tell them, hey, I'm gonna generate some sales and I'm gonna pay you back with interest. That's gonna help people like family or friends know that this is legitimate, this is serious, and you're gonna do everything you can to succeed. Number 16, you can apply for bank loans for your startup. Actually, believe it or not, um, there are specific loans for food trucks and even food truck startups. Try to get yourself a bank loan. If you can use other people's money and get a great rate, hey, why not? Number 17, create an employee handbook. Now, this doesn't have to be 7,000 pages, guys. But if you have employees or if you're looking to create jobs and have others work for you, an employee handbook is simply stating, hey, this is what I expect from you for cleaning. This is the processes I'm going to implement and we're going to have for serving our food, storing the food. This is the type of customer service we expect. You can do that. As a matter of fact, you can Google it and you can download free templates of employee handbooks and then use that as a basic um, a generalized uh, understanding of what's res- what's responded, what's respected, and what needs to have done for them on their behalf. So understand that every employee, you're going to have expectations. If you can spell that out in the employee handbook, you're going to be better off for it. Number 18, next up, food truck logo. Obviously, you're going to have a brand. You're going to create a business brand. You want to have a food truck logo. So if you can't create one, check the links down below. You can go to fiverr.com. You can go to some of these Upworks and websites. Have one made for you for like 40, 50 bucks. It doesn't have to be expensive. You work with a great artist, a graphic designer, but you need to have a food truck logo and a brand concept in mind. Number 19, create a food truck wrap. Now this is the exterior part. This is the side, the part that goes on the outside of the vehicle. Again, you want to incorporate your brand, your look, colors, certain fonts and letters and text and such. So when you create your small business with your food truck, you want to make sure that you have a food truck wrap. And again, guess what? I've got links for that as well, guys. Down below, even give me on Fiverr.com, they have literally companies that specialize in food truck wrap designs. You can get one made for you. Number 20, seek and hire a really good chef or cook right off the bat. Now, if you want to go the food truck route independently as yourself, just starting off, that's great. But I would highly recommend... If you can find yourself a good chef or a cook or somebody who wants to do some business on the side, maybe on the weekends and pick up extra hours, get yourself a really good chef because they may have great input and help you create and design a menu that would really help you sell. Don't be afraid to ask for help or creative advice, creative ideas from others. It's a great way to grow your own business. Number 21, buy, lease, or even rent a food truck. Of course, you got to have a food truck, guys, but you know what? You don't have to buy one. There are companies out there where you can rent them for a certain period of time to even see, you know, check out and test the waters to see if a food truck business is really right for you. You don't have to invest 60, 70, 80,000. Don't get scared of all these people saying it's going to cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars to start. No, you can lease or even rent one. Take it out. Try your menu. Use it for six, seven, eight months and see how it works. There are lease and rent places that you can get a food truck. Next up, number 22, you got to purchase your cups. Your cutlery accessories to eat on, serving your food, including utensils, plates, and small ways. Keep that in mind. For your budget reasons, you need to understand you're going to have to invest in this right out the front. And these are going to be items that you can obviously dispose of as people use them, but you're going to need cutlery and such. 23, create a website. Believe it or not, you need to have a website for your food truck. Because down the road, guess what? You're going to watch the other video that I have here on my channel about merch and the, the multiple ways you can create income streams with one food truck. I did a handful of videos. You're going to check those links out. I'm going to explain to you in those videos how to create uh, different streams of income. While you're at a food truck event, you can be selling merch on your website with you having doing nothing. Yes, drop shipping, print on demand, websites for your food truck business. Number 24, if you need, you will have a fire inspection as well. Now, this is kind of like a 99% item that happens pretty much across the board. The fire inspections will cost you probably about 100 to 200 bucks. And what you're going to do is you're going to have the fire fire department come in. They're going to take a look at your truck, ensure that it's wired correctly, ensure that there's nothing wrong with your generators, that their uh, equipment and utensils, everything that's in there is properly set up and is working perfectly. Okay. Number 25, create a menu specific about the type of food you want to serve. Don't sit there and force yourself to create a menu and serve food that you cannot stand. If you want to get in the food truck business, create a menu that's something that's fun for you to do. You're going to be doing it for hours every day. Create something that you love to make, that you're really good at, and something that you can create your own because that's going to make your business run much more smoother than forcing yourself to produce something that just sells, but it's not something you really enjoy making. Next up, number 26, always have the right documentation on your vehicle at all times. Now, keep in mind, 
If your state, uh, city, or county actually requires specific documentation to be on your truck, which it normally does, you're going to need to have that presence, okay? You need to always have that because a lot of times if you go to a food truck event, you need to show proof of a lot of things. If you register for an event, they may ask you or request it. If, you know, God forbid you get into an accident again, you're going to have to have documentation. Make sure that you have these items on your truck. Next up, number 27, inventory log. You need to keep track of what you're selling, guys. Don't just randomly buy ingredients, sell out of a bunch of stuff, and not know what's selling and what's not. Having an inventory log is something that is a no-brainer, but it's very simple to put together. You can do one on Excel. You can create it and make sure that you understand what inventory is coming in and what's going out, just like any other business. Now, I know I said it give me 15 minutes. We're almost there, guys. I've got a couple more, and then we're wrapping this up. Make sure that you have a copy of your inspections on your food truck. This is something that now sometimes sporadically, believe it or not, like in the restaurant industry, the health department may actually show up without notice. And if they need some documentation that you don't have and you, knew, you don't have it on your vehicle, you could get into trouble. So ensure that you have a copy of your inspections as well. That kind of goes in with the other one we had mentioned earlier. Now also maintain records with your commissary kitchen that you are applied to and are addressed at. What I mean by that is that most food trucks need to have a commercial kitchen or commissary as it's called. You need to be attached to one of those. Make sure that you've got that documentation and it's updated to show proof. You know, health department pops up, hey Damien, where is this documentation? I got it right here. Just keep copies of all of this on your vehicle and it'll be better off. Next up, number 30, social media accounts. You need to be on all the platforms. Yes, even though it's a, it's a food truck and you're like, well, Damien, how can I use social media? No, 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 no. Social media is a huge asset for you. It's gonna be a huge thing for you to have for your food truck because you can engage with customers. If you're creating a local brand, Get those customers to take pictures, upload it when they're at an event, give them a, give them a reason to, give them something free, say, hey, for every you know picture you upload, and that's gonna help people know who you are. Give your brand and awareness online, and then like I said, down the road, when you start selling merch and have websites, e-commerce ties into that social media, right? So your food truck needs to have a social media presence, okay? Post videos, pictures, images, updates, menu items. Hey guys, I'm gonna be at this event on January 26th. Make sure you're there. Send out, send out information to the people who are following you on social media. Lastly, check out online food truck websites. So I actually have a handful of videos here. I'm gonna put some links down below where we actually show you additional food truck resource websites that have blogs. They have additional information about how to sell, how to market, not only just us here on YouTube, but we've got a lot of great other uh, websites that we did uh, reviews for. We've got videos on that. So these are the 31 things, actually a little bit more than 30, 31 things that can help you get your food truck up and running. If there's something on here I missed and you guys don't know, let me know down below in the comments if I may have missed something. I don't think I did. I've pretty much covered everything you're going to need to get this up and running. And if you guys have a successful food truck, check out these videos here. Here's some additional food truck information to help you get and launch your food truck business. And I appreciate you watching. Give us a thumbs up if this list helped you out truly. I appreciate it, guys. I'll see you on the next video.